Hello and welcome to an overview of European Studies at University College Cork. My name is Catherine McGarry and I am the Director of the Programme of European Studies. In this video I'm going to explain what European Studies is, why one should study European Studies, I'll give you a brief explanation of what happens in each year of the degree and some points about employability. So let's go. What, what is European Studies? European Studies is what we can call a multidisciplinary subject. That means that it involves various different disciplines and you get the opportunity to study issues relating to Europe and the European Union from lots of different perspectives. So say from a historical, political perspective, but also from a geography, food business perspective. And as you progress beyond first year, if that's your choice, other subject areas, for example, European Union law also become available to you. The European Studies program is anchored in the School of History, but there are also other participating schools and departments, including geography, food business and development and law. So with European Studies, you are exposed to a variety of different disciplines and subject areas. And this can be challenging, but I also believe it's very, very rewarding. And we hope as teaching staff to ignite your curiosity about some or all of these subject areas. We are, as teachers, very student focused and we hope to guide you as best as possible in studying the European Union, which is very much a moving, a moving target. So you see here, students analyse key institutions, policies, treaties and political historical developments of the European Union since 1945, as well as their impact on human and physical landscapes. So this emphasis on rural societies and rural policies as well in the European context. So that's pretty much what one would look at in first year. Students can investigate the EU in the context of international relations as well. So thinking about, you know, the role of this union in the global system. So we'll be thinking global, but we'll also be thinking local and national. So we'll be exploring national level policies and politics in individual member states as well. We have some very happy, content and successful graduates of European studies. And it's the graduates that teach me that they are well prepared for the challenges associated with a much more complex world. So uh, European Studies prepares graduates for the challenges associated with a more interdependent and enlarged European Union. And if you take a look at the employability document and the careers document in this folder, you will see some stories of students that have graduated with a degree in European Studies from UCC and the path that they have taken. Why study European Studies? I really believe that in the current climate, it's really useful to have um, a flexible degree. It's very useful to be exposed to multidisciplinary subjects. And with European studies, you are certainly exposed to a very valuable and distinctive approach. And within the programme, eventually you develop a very deep knowledge about policy making and decision making in Europe and the European Union. And we learn about the European Union as a system of multi-level governance, decision making at multiple levels of governance, not a pyramid with all of the authority at the top. And we find some balance between the abstract and the specific, between the historical and the contemporary. There is a note here regarding CK101 and CK108. You can take European studies as a subject in first year arts under CK101 and leave it there. But if you wish to proceed with European studies to degree level, it has to be as part of CK108 BA International. <clears throat> if you start your degree as an arts degree, there is a possibility at the end of first year to make an application 
to transfer into the BA International. And if you're interested in that at the end of your first year in college, you can come and have a chat with me. It's subject to certain conditions. Also, as part of the European Studies degree, it's part of the BA International, there is this year abroad, which is a fantastic opportunity, is such a valuable, valuable experience to study, study abroad. And European Studies has very long-standing and reliable partnerships with a host of European universities. And within the BA International, there are also a variety of interesting English language partners. So this was a photograph sent to me by um, someone who is now a graduate, but from his time as an Erasmus student in Strasbourg, enjoying the European Parliament. Let's take a look at some key facts. First year, second year, third year, fourth year. In year one, we look at post-1945 Europe, the development of this union as a new political economic entity. So that's the political historical stuff. And then there's the geography side of things with looking at rural societies, economies and policies in Europe. What about second year? Second year, you are introduced to research techniques and writing skills, and you've lots of options from European politics to international relations, economic and rural development, migration, tourism, and the list goes on. I just give a selection here. You're also exposed to a model European Union, and this is one of the most innovative mo modules or courses in European studies. And maybe you have some experience with model EU from, from school or from debating. It's a little bit different here, but essentially we um, simulate meetings of the European Council and the Council of the EU. So there's some nice photographs here of students uh, when we were last, when we were on campus. So these are campus photographs of informal debates. And students cover everything from migration to enlargement, climate change, energy, defence, security, and so on. And from these debates, uh, it's very common for students to de develop specific interests in certain areas and then go on maybe to write a dissertation, a mini thesis on one of these areas in final year. So again, this is the grandiose council room in the on, on, on campus and a sample of some of the topics covered in one of the more recent model European unions. Union. So you, you get to see there from green transition to economic recovery, migration, democracy action plan, and so on. Last year we did it online and that was also very successful. I mentioned the year abroad in year three, which as I said is absolutely invaluable. And in fourth year, students complete a research project. So you specialise in something and you write a hefty mini thesis in your chosen area and you get close supervision in doing so. And then you've lots of choice on the menu in terms of options from history or geography, international relations, politics type ES modules or law type, European Union law type modules. In terms of careers, as I said, there's a document in this folder that gives you a lot more advice in this regard and some, some graduate stories as well. But every week I hear new stories, including this summer of graduates getting interesting opportunities. Um, this summer alone, I got some news from graduates that went on to IBEC, to being policy advisors, to being media analysts, internships in the European Parliament, policy advisors in Brussels and other jobs closer to home. And really the career paths are as varied as your individual interests. So you can take a look at the list here, which also features in the career document that I attach to this folder. So if you focus on what you're interested in, you'll probably dedicate lots of time to it. And then the likelihood is that you'll do well in it. And if you follow along in that path, you're designing your own degree, you are in the driving seat and you're steering your degree then in a particular career 
direction. So this is a, a graduate of mine in her job as policy advisor for the government of New Zealand, greeting the former president of the European Council. I leave my details here with you. You can take a look at our website for further information. Um, it'll give you some sense of what European studies involves. And uh, I wish you the very best of luck at university. And I hope that it will be a very enjoyable experience. Thank you so much.